Oh dear, we have run into a problem. Hmm. I think a reboot is required. Uh, where's the reboot button? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, there's more than one way to reboot a system. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this review of Debian 9, which is codenamed Stretch. This time I'm looking at the Cinnamon Edition. I know the GNOME version is the default and that's one I've already looked at. And that's run absolutely beautifully, perfectly, bit of trouble installing, and I noticed that Debian have re-released the ISO file. Hmm, shame I can't say the same about the Cinnamon version, it caused a few issues there. All I did last time was try and play a music file, then a video. Nothing too complicated. So we have Linux kernel 4.9, and in terms of the memory usage, it's about 446 meg. I wonder how that compares to before. 446 meg for Cinnamon in Debian, a little bit higher than Linux Mint. Hmm, that's not so good, is it? When I think about the Cinnamon desktop, I tend to think more of Linux Mint. That seems to be the most popular distro with Cinnamon as a default desktop. So what can we do to the desktop? Well, you can customize it, add these desklet or widgets. Well, they call them desklets here in Cinnamon. There's a few different desklets you can add. And there's also additional extensions. So available extensions online, so we can have Cinnamon tweaks, <laughs> transparent panels, as well as well, quite a selection, really. Well, apparently this extension can cause problems, but never mind. We'll try it out just for a laugh. Now transparent panels enabled. Yeah, looks good. The Cinnamon desktop is more of a styling to recreate the older GNOME Classic desktop but with the newer GTK3 base, so in other words, yeah, it's based on GNOME 3. The searcher can find applications and previously opened files, not all documents, just previously opened, because I have a document there called Screenshot and it didn't pick it up. The Nemo File Manager is a fork of an older version of Nautilus, so it retains more features than the newer version of Nautilus, and ooh, isn't that nasty to say. Split screen browsing, Per folder view settings, type ahead search, yep, there's just a few other things it still has. I quite like the animation when you go and drag and drop a file. It's quite a bit difficult to see that though, but in the background you can just about see the folder opens up. I'm not so sure about the styling, it is uh, very bland, but it's the same sort of styling that was in the GNOME desktop. Let's see if we can snap applications to the edges of the screen, so we have Oh, hold control and enter to snap. Yeah, okay, we've got some instructions there. So it looks like we have halves, quarters, and top half as well. Oh, it's really annoying that. When I drag it to the top, I expect the application to open full screen. But no, it seems to split halves or quarters. Double click on the application. Yeah, that opens it up to maximize. So no problems there. Looking around at what we have on the system. So I installed this ISO from the net installer. So this is the default applications it installs when you select the Cinnamon desktop, which is one of the options. So it looks like we have quite a few small games on here. Graphics, we have GIMP and Inkscape for image editors. We've got the Firefox extended release browser, and that is Firefox version 52.2 at the moment. So it will lag behind the main release of Firefox, but you're getting long time stability instead of bleeding edge, which is what Debian is about. It's about long term stability rather than bleeding edge. LibreOffice will be a bit out of date already. So that's version 5.2.7, but it does look presentable and usable. Sound and video, well I installed VLC for testing. We'd have Rhythmbox for the audio player and videos for the video player. And that's about it really. If you want to add an application as a favorites, you can right click on it and go to add to favorites, although it will increase the size of the menu each time you add a favorite. So it does mean the menu will get a bit large after a while. As you can see, it's getting a little bit larger now already. So, so perhaps you may not want to add too many applications to your favorites. So just right click and remove. In terms of the theming, well, it looks like we have a few different selections here on window borders. Icons, just a bland selection there. Controls, yeah, a few different mouse cursors. Ugh, just the Adwaiter and DMZ mouse cursors. And desktop, a few different settings there. 
and we can always add in more from online. So yeah, there's quite a few options you can do with Cinnamon. It is a very flexible desktop, not quite as flexible as KDE, but it does rival it very well. What I've just noticed is despite the selection of applications, there's no update manager. Unless I'm missing it, but no, I've just looked through and there's no update manager because I think there should be an update out today with System D. Was there a vulnerability just discovered with System D that's been around for a year where you can send dodgy response to a DNS request? Why, yes, there is. And do we have some upgrades? No, we don't. We just have a kernel upgrade at the moment, but that's news for later in the week. So in conclusion, the Cinnamon desktop is not quite as stable as the GNOME desktop. It really does show where the work has taken place with Debian, and I suppose you can say that's fair and reasonable, really. They're going to focus on one desktop and just provide alternatives in other desktops. It is up to some of the other distro creators to really get the most out of these desktops. All Debian have given you, really, is the basics, with just a few little tweaks you can do to it. Perhaps there are a few too many applications, in particular with the small games, but they don't take up much space, so it wouldn't be too difficult to get rid of them. So that was a look at Debian Stretch with the Cinnamon Desktop. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.